Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. Many people like to watch movies, isn't it? Therefore, this time let's take a look at the best board games based on the movies. But before we start, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell to be informed about any new and freshly made episode that appears on this channel. And if you know any person who may be interested in these kind of games, go ahead and share this video. And Amazon affiliate links in description will lead you to the corresponding title so you can find these games and check their price with these okay and now let's start and let's start with a colossal movie that was ported to the tabletop game this is sparta yes i talking about sparta uh, correct uh, title is uh, 300 the board game uh, the board game is made in 2007. It is a quick paced game that recreates the Battle of uh, Thermopylae as it was depicted in Frank Miller's uh, epic film. Game is made for 2 to 4 players. Uh, it is uses cards and dice to simulate the action and to win in this game Spartans must collect 100 glory points that have been collected as passion units uh, have been destroyed. For the passions, the game objective is to eliminate Spartans before they can collect those 100 glory points, and all that can be done in approximately 30 minutes. Well, therefore it can be a cool party game that will definitely positively surprise your guests, especially if they are history fans. Next one takes us uh, to the modern era and beat more tropical places than ancient Greece. Can you guess this one? I talking about Rambo the board game. Released in 2020, it is a cooperative tactical scenario based campaign war game with a cool miniatures that uh, takes you to the missions based on the events uh, from the iconic films Rambo Fast Blood Part 2 and Rambo 3. Missions unlock new gear and tactical cards uh, that players can use uh, to customize their gameplay and strategy. Game has no dice. Yes, it's diceless game. All action and engagement in combat is done with a card-based uh, tactical system. It is made for 1 to 4 players, uh, takes approximately 60 minutes uh, to play and has highly detailed miniatures that resemble small plastic toy soldiers. I love this game, it really brings back uh, that distinct feeling of action movies uh, from 90s. And can someone tell me please, why does it kick me back feeling and nostalgia about the Contra video game? No, it's weird, but it does. Next one is great choice for gangster game fans. The Godfather Carleone's Empire. Uh huh, it is about Carleone's family enterprise, if we can uh, put it like that, alright. It is a worker placement game filled with mud and intrigue, where you must play as competing mafia families, competing for control of the organized crime network in New York City. Money, action, contracts and uh, special advantages are represented by cards. Your hand size is limited, that's why you choose which extra cards to pay tribute to, to the Don at the end of the round. And you have 5 rounds in a game. However, at the end of a game, the amount of the money is what determines who is a winner. So, while you play this game with high quality miniatures, do not forget to get rich as well. Let's add a little bit of fantasy to our top. Okay, okay, you got me. And horror as well. Alright, alright. However, I watched that movie with my kids and they were not terrified. Can you imagine? Well, today's kids, I guess you can scare them only if you take away their mobile phone or something like that. Anyway. I'm talking about Jurassic Park Danger, great game published by Ravensburg in 2018 where you must run and hide from a pack of dinosaurs who try to eat you. Well, yes, very close to the film events, right? In this game, one player controls dinosaurs prowling through the jungle to attack 
humans while the other players team up as the characters from the movie struggling to get bug power back online and escape this bizarre safari. And you know, it can be a really fun to play this one. As age guidance is 10 plus years, it can be real firecracker on your family table. And I already got a request from my kiddos to get this one as well. Okay, let's dig deeper into sci-fi universe. And I mean that literally. Yes, in universe. Rhetoric question. Have you ever seen an alien movie? I guess the majority, if not everyone, saw at least one episode. Okay, okay, if you haven't seen that, then you definitely know that there is such a film. There are plenty of games about Alien and Alien movies, and we will not cover all of them, but let me suggest you only the best ones. And we have four great choices for different gameplay lovers and different Alien film fans. Let's start with Alien Fate of Nostromo. It is a cooperative game where you must take on the role of the Nostromo crew and work together to move through the ship gather supplies and even craft items to complete objectives. In each turn, objectives are determined by a crew con. Players can either move around the Nostromo or pick up craft, use or even trade items with other crew members. Items are important to maintain morale, which is very important for winning this game. On top of that, each crew member has a special ability. To win, you must complete objectives and one of the five final missions before your morale runs out. And actually, it can be another great family game made for 1 to 5 players, age 10 plus, with playtime up to 1 hour. As I am an alien movie fan myself, I love this game very much. However, if you love deck building games and sci-fi genre, then probably Legendary Encounters, an alien deck building game, could be just right for you. It is a cooperative deck building game based on the four movies of the Alien series. Well, it's so cool. Players uh, take on the role of famous characters of the film and collect cards for their deck to improve their ability or let's put in this way chance to defeat the xenomorph cards that are constantly added to the game's board and yes as it is cooperative game then players must cooperate in order to survive against hordes of terrifying aliens the game is made for one to five players age 17 plus and it can take approximately one hour to play through however if you prefer to play with figurines then aliens another glory day in a corpse may be more suitable for you it is a brilliant and well-crafted game for one to six players age 14 plus in this cooperative survival game you and the colonial marines infiltrate Hadley's hope colony to search for survivors and seek for answers to what happened while the fight of relentless xenomorph ambushes this game contains three modes play can play up to six different missions that take you into different areas uh, from the headless hope terraforming facility if you want you can play an exciting campaign mode uh, where four of those missions are linked together so players uh, will need to fight the uh, numerous xenomorph attacks and keep each other alive uh, all the way to the end of the campaign and in third mode uh, the players are dropped into the game uh, with nothing more than a pistol well basically it is a dire survive situation right Players uh, will need to scavenge weapons and gear while trying to survive again cause of Xenomorphs. And believe me, it is a very interesting game. As the last game about aliens, uh, I would like to suggest Aliens Bug Hunt. In this game, your goal is to complete the mission and evacuate the complex uh, that consists of 30 different location tiles, each with different challenges. You can play as your favorite character from movie Aliens, each with a unique ability. 
In this cooperative game uh, where every role is critical and players depend on each other to cover their back, you must make out a life and ultimately win the game which can take up to one hour to complete. You can play this alone or up to four players age 17 plus. Next game is for those who like movies and games where hero fights one against all. Die Hard, the Nakatomi Haste board game. Well, maybe I got too far saying one against all, because it is not really a solo game. It is made for one to four players, but it uses one versus many asymmetrical gameplay. One player plays as John McClane against other bad guys cooperating to prevent you from saving the hostages in the iconic Nakatomi Plaza. Next one is, well, a kind of social game, I would say. It can be played by up to 8 players and take up to 2 hours to complete. The Thing, Infection of Outpost 31. Those who watch the movie knows that events are happening in Antarctic where researchers are managing an isolated US Outpost 31 that came into the contact with hostile extraterrestrial life form. In this hidden identity game you must play as one of the 12 characters from the movie and lead a series of investigations to find out who among the team has been infected by this alien life form and clean the building. Kind of detective game as well. Movie was great and this game is well designed and crafted. And if we started talking about investigations, we cannot skip such an epic and award-winning TV series as X-Files Legendary Encounters The X-Files Deck Building Game. In this game, players must take on the role of Mulder, Scully or Skinner and work together to expose a variety of conspiracies and mysteries. You can make allies while collecting evidence and leads to help your team expose and foil the group that rules from shadows. Ok, another authority question. Who remembers such movie as Planet of Apes? <laughs> yes, yes, there was such a thing. Planet of Apes, board game. This cooperative game is made for 1 to 4 players age 14 and follows the story of original movie and promises players a thrilling adventure in unknown land with a deadly environment. Each player takes control of one aspect of Colonel George Taylor's psyche and must work together to survive the planet of apes. Next one is an epic game for role-playing, intrigue and long-play fans. A Game of Thrones, the board game. Released in 2011, it is an awesome game based on best-selling A Song of Ice and Fire series by George Martin. Players take on the role of the great houses of Seven Kingdoms as they aim for control of the Iron Throne through the use of diplomacy and warfare. Yes, fighting. However, I should say, the game will require more than just military might to win. Quite deeply strategic and twisted therefore age requirement is 14 plus. It can take up to 4 hours to complete, quite long, and it involves up to 6 players and minimum are 3 players and there is no solo option available. Sorry solo game lovers, but it is as it is. To begin this game, each player receives an army, then you must plan your moves, orders and actions, and then during action phase the orders are resolved and battles entered. Well, rules are interesting and quite complex, therefore making the game very interesting. Well, at least that's how I see this game. What do you think about Game of Thrones? Do you found it cool as well? Okay, as we looked at alien and aliens previously, then we cannot skip alien vs predator, can we? There are quite a few board games about alien and predator encounters, but this one in my opinion is the best. Alien vs predator, the hunt begins, second edition. It is an interesting and dynamic tactical game that mixes mission and the narrative driven board game and the tabletop war game. You can pick one of the three sides to play, 
alien. Xenomorphs are predator or human colonial marines, each with its own abilities and advantages and the fight against the rest. The game has a couple of modes to play. As a first one, one or more players uh, can sit down and play through their own narrative and uh, develop uh, their own characters and objectives uh, through the main campaign, consisting of 10 missions joined together. In next one, players uh, can sit down and play like survival, plot standing or capture the objective game, etc. Game is great, it has two sets of rules basic and advanced, which offers beginners a chance to start playing this wonderful game straight away, I gradually learn all in and outs about game mechanics, etc. and then switch to the more challenging advanced level. So it's a really cool game, I love it, it has great miniatures and well designed tiles, and most importantly it brings back that colossal atmosphere from the movie. So, a lot of sci-fi and horrors are on our today's top, right? And the next game will not be an exception. Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 3. Resident Evil 2 is a cooperative board game where you play as a character in scenarios from Resident Evil video game, which is derived from actual movie. Therefore, I think we can kind of say that these board games roots are tied to the movie. Anyway, in this game you should fight iconic monsters and escape from Raccoon City. But Resident Evil 3 the board game is a cooperative survival board game that you can play either through individual one-shot scenarios or as a storyline campaign attempting to escape Raccoon City during the virus outbreak. Both games are very well designed and will be very much suitable for horror genre lovers. A couple of next games are epic and in my opinion one of the most beautifully designed and enormously expanded and diversified games in a board game history. Please correct me if I'm wrong. I'm talking about Star Wars. There are many games about Star Wars, uh, let's quickly run through some of the most popular ones. Uh, Star Wars uh, The Clone Wars, released in 2022, where you must uh, use your Jedi power to fight off separatist threat. You must roll the dice and combine the result with uh, squad cards and special Jedi abilities uh, to complete essential missions move from planet to planet, uh, battle droids, crush blockades and fight against iconic villains. Uh, game is made for 1-5 to five players, uh, age 14. Carrying out with Star Wars, we cannot skip such titles as Star Wars Armada, miniature battle game uh, where you can experience the drama of galactic civil war on the whole new scale. In this game, Rebel and the Imperial fleets fight for the fate of galaxy in epic Star Wars space battles. Star Wars X-Wing miniature game. It is a tactical combat game in which players take control of Rebel X-Wings and Imperial fighters facing them against each other in fast-paced space combat driven by dice, cards and tiles. Star Wars Imperial Assault is a strategic board game for a tactical combat for 2 to 5 players. The game has two modes. First mode, the campaign game puts the limitless troops and resources of the Galactic Empire against the team of elite rebel operatives. In skirmish missions, you and your friend compete in head-to-head -head tactical combat. It is a well-crafted and nicely designed game. Star Wars Legion, in which you will enter the ground battles of the Galactic Civil War as a commander of a unique army of miniatures filled with the troopers, powerful vehicles and iconic characters like Darth Vader or Luke Skywalker. Star Wars Rebellion. Star Wars Rebellion is a board game of epic conflict between a Galactical Empire and Rebel Alliance for 2 to 4 players. In Rebellion, you control the entire Galactical Empire or Rebel Alliance. You must command starships, account for troop movements, and rally systems to your cause, where each side has different win conditions. 
If we looked at Star Wars Rebellion, then we definitely cannot dismiss Star Wars Rebellion Rise of the Empire. With new leaders, missions and tactical cards that lead to more fully cinematic combat. Rise of Empire is an expansion of Star Wars Rebellion, inspired largely by movie Rogue One, a Star Wars story. And just as a movie provides new insights into Galactic Civil War, Rise of Empire adds new depth and story to your Rebellion game experience. Next one will suit fantasy fans. The Lord of the Rings Journey in Middle Earth. In this game, players explore Middle Earth, working together as heroes to combat evil in epic campaign that consists of separate individual games. That's cool. You will explore the vast and dynamic landscape of Middle Earth, using your skills to survive the challenges that you encounter on these perilous quests. You will battle villainous foes, make brave choices and strike a blow against the evil that threatens the land. You can play this cooperative game either alone by yourself or up to 5 players. And the great feature is that this game is app supported board game. War of the Ring, second edition, released in 2011, it is a quite an oldish game in our top, but nevertheless that allows its players to immerse themselves in awesome world of the Lord of the Rings saga and experience its epic action, dramatic conflict and distinctive characters. Yes, for fantasy and sci-fi fans, uh, there are a lot of choices between board games based on the movies. Next one is a sci-fi as well. Star Trek Ascendancy. It is a game of exploration, expansion and conflict between United Federation of Planets and two empires. Players must command starships, establish space lanes, construct star bases and bring other systems under their control. There are 30 star systems in this game, representing some of the Star Trek galaxy's most notable planets and locations. As you progress, you will encounter new life forms, civilizations, make discoveries and face challenging obstacles as well. If you love the TV show, you will love this game as well. It's great. Star Trek Frontiers. Released in 2016, Star Trek Frontiers is designed for 1 to 4 players with the multiple competitive, cooperative and even solo scenarios. That's great. I love games that are not just standalone and those that you can play in multiple ways. That's great and stunning feature. In this game you must work together to defeat hostile ships or compete to explore and uncover hidden mysteries. You will need to overcome obstacles to expand knowledge and use leadership to be victorious in your exploration. If you liked Star Wars X-Wing that was mentioned before, you must like the next one as well. Star Trek Alliance Dominion War Campaign Released in 2021, it is an exciting starship battle game set in a Star Trek universe. One to six players will create their own Federation captains, form a task force and work together to defeat the Dominion over the series of campaign missions. Before we get to the last two game titles in our list, go ahead and tell which one of these games did you like most or probably you may suggest any other title go ahead and share your opinion in the comments uh, but now let's carry on with last two games that are based on wonderful movie dune released in 2019 dune is an asymmetrical strategy game with the components of warfare and diplomacy in this game you will become a leader of the one of the six great factions uh, that compete for control of the most valuable resource in the universe. Dune Imperium Released in 2020, Dune Imperium is a game that finds inspiration in elements and the characters from 
Dune Legacy, the new film from Legendary Pictures. Dune Imperium uses deck building to add hidden information angle to traditional worker placement game. But unlike many deck building games, you don't play your entire hand in one turn. Instead, you draw a hand of cards at the start of every round and alternate with other players. And by the way, Dune Imperium has great expansion. Dune Imperium Rise of X. Rise of X focuses on a technocratic society of X and adds new Imperium intrigue and conflict cards to the game along with six new leaders across three houses. And this is it for today. If you like this video, give it a like. I wish you a great time playing these wonderful games and I will catch you in the next episode.